now back to the Haney Biz Project with investorpreneur Mark Haney. Welcome back to the Haney Biz Project, brought to you courtesy of accounting firm Clifton Larson Allen. I'm Mark Haney, and I'm back with Marcus Haney, and we are joined by Mito Eldon, the man behind the Haney Biz Marketing Company. How are you doing, Mito? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about marketing. You know, we do some marketing here internally, but Haney Biz, because of you and your expertise... We've gone out and we're starting a company. Uh, we've more than started that company. We have a company that's doing digital marketing. We're experts in digital video marketing. Tell us about what we're doing. Yeah, Mark, it's it's been phenomenal. And um, you know, basically, what we're doing is we are like what you're saying, skating to where the puck is going to be, which is these days is digital and video and social media. And, uh, what we're seeing is businesses starting to get much higher return on investment when using video in their marketing. Okay. And what that's what we do. We help them with their video. We help them find where their customers are and communicate their message more effectively. Yeah. And can you give us an example of what that might look like, Mito? Absolutely. Um, we had one customer, a uh, local dry cleaning company, that uh, wanted to be able to find customers in a particular geography. Uh, El Dorado Hills, great customer out there. Yes. Um, and what we did is we designed a campaign that targeted just El Dorado Hills on Facebook. We created a video. We went out there and recorded it. And we were able to optimize the campaign, and they were able to get 60 leads in nine days. Wow. They converted on, on 50 of them. That's amazing. I mean, it's so the digital marketing arena is changing so fast. So I think a lot of people kind of get stuck in the way that it used to be. But even la you know that was so last year. Uh, Facebook ads, traditional Facebook ads, in some ways are so last year. You have to figure out a way to stay cutting edge. Can you give us a little bit about your background and then how you go about, I guess, staying cutting edge and really what cutting edge means in terms of technology? Yeah, I have a technology background. I did an um, app development company that we built, uh, built a team communication app that did really well. Um, you know, we didn't get it over the hump, but learned a lot from that experience. And I've been able to take uh, what I learned in marketing that I've been doing for a long time to what we're doing here with our marketing company. And um, specifically, what I'm finding is um, that when you use video in communication, we see that customers will retain a message um, up to 95% better when they see it on video than when they see it on text. Mm -hmm. And what we really specialize in here is being able to get to the emotional core of a message so that it stands out when it's on social media or on your website or on email. And that really makes a big difference. Yeah, don't you see now that, and Marcus, I'll bring you in here too as well. I mean, you're on probably on social media more than I am, but what I see is what I call con uh, content shock, where there's so much information coming at me, it's tough to really uh, differentiate uh, something. You, you just got so much information, and I'm wondering, like, how do we... Uh, help these guys to get noticed. Are you, are you seeing that, Marcus? Absolutely. I mean, everybody's got access to every social media platform out there. And I think, you know, Facebook uh, specifically, going on Facebook Live like we are right now here on the Haney Biz Project gets that uh, Facebook video tagged to the top of everybody's news feed, which gives their more eyeballs onto that specific content. So there's different little uh, things that you can do to get yourself more noticed on each of the platforms and, um, you know, make yourself separated from everybody separated. else. Yeah. yeah, there's a remarkability factor. I think uh, if you care, you'll share. And so often now, yeah. you want people to share your content, right? If I'm out there trying to get a message across, I want people to like it so much, they're willing to share it with a friend. And, and they don't do it just because they like you. They've got to believe in what you're doing. Don't they, Mito? Absolutely. That's the key. And uh, you know, video is easy and hard. It's easy because everybody's got a phone. A phone, you got a 4K camera in that phone. I mean, super professional video. It's hard to convey emotion. Um, if, you, if you have a knack for it, if you're a natural at it, uh, you can really connect with people with video, and that's what makes the difference for someone to notice uh, what you're trying to explain to them and have them connect with you. Well, let's talk about attention span because you see some of these videos that you'll see on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram or whatever, they're in different lengths. And I guess each distribution channel uh, lends itself to a different length video. But what are you seeing in terms of attention span? Um, is, it, is it going a lot lower? People want to spend yeah. less time watching a video and they click through it real quick? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you think about yourself on your phone. I mean, just think about yourself on your phone. You just scroll through things and it takes yeah. very... 
very little time before you might lose interest in something. Yeah. So just from your own experience, you know that's the case. It's that first 15 seconds that kind of grabs you me. If I don't get them. something in maybe even 10 seconds, I'm on to the next thing. That's right. Uh, what about influencer marketing? You and I have been uh, spending a lot of time talking about influencer marketing as we become more influential uh, in, in, fa in you know, the different social media platforms, but also partnering with people who can influence. What do you see in terms of that trend uh, moving forward? Well, let me first just say that uh, influencer marketing really is the 21st century version of word of mouth. Mm -hmm. You have people out there and they've essentially amassed an audience and these this audience trusts them, they like them, they follow them, they watch their videos, they watch their posts on a daily basis, they, they trust them. And when this person, a quote unquote influencer says, try this, go there, do this, people trust and that's why they will take action. So influencer marketing, it's kind of like what you're doing here in Sacramento with the show. You know, you're kind of known as the voice of entrepreneurship in Sacramento. People trust you, they come to you, they want to know who should I talk to for banking, who should I talk to for accounting. They know that you know what you're talking about. There's an element of trust that you've established and you are doing that here in Sacramento. It's the cutting edge of marketing. I'm thinking of myself as a marketer who's maybe starting off, I got my business, I've started uh, dabbling in all these, de testing I suppose in, in all these different areas of marketing and nothing's working as fast as what the one, you, you described the one that uh, like uh, you had 58 leads in a matter of one little campaign that really turned into sales for, uh, for the one guy that you were talking about for that example. But aren't there times when you just have to stay patient and continue to test until you discover that, uh, that hidden gem? Absolutely. Let me just tell you this. There's always a silver bullet. There's always a silver bullet out there. It's just a matter of if you're going to stay in the game long enough to find it. But this is a brand new world. Nobody's figured out all the angles. There's just huge untapped opportunities to generate revenue online, both for a traditional company as well as for an online company. Yeah, and I, you know, I, I think to the, uh, to the listening audience, if, uh, if you're one of those people that's saying, you know what, I am... Uh, doing some marketing now and it's not working as well as I'd like. I think Mito might be somebody you want to talk to. I'm obviously always here for you, Sacramento, but you know, we want to help grow Sacramento business. That's why we started the Haney Biz Marketing Company is how do we help grow Sacramento business? It's good for the economy. It's good for jobs. It's good for our families. Um, you know, and I call it the power of with, with Mito Eldon and Marcus Haney and John Gregory of Five Star Bank. Any of us can grow our business. You just need the three legs of the, of the stool. You need the product. Uh, Marcus, uh, there's some real estate. You got to have real estate in some cases too, don't you, Marcus? You got to have a little space, location, location, yeah. location. If you have the right hookup on commercial real estate, that can be a big advantage. No doubt. And if you want that hookup on uh, re uh, commercial real estate, you got to call Ethan Conrad Properties uh. over there. They're doing a really great competition for the local entrepreneurs here in the capital region, giving away upwards of $100,000 in commercial real estate and tenant improvements. Uh, go to HaneyBiz.com to fill out an application or find out more info. Yeah, $100,000 in free rent from Ethan Conrad. Very generous. There's going to be a big competition. It's a chance to get connected with the venture funding guys around the area, right? Because the guys that are judging that contest are the who's who of venture funding right here in Sacramento. Yours truly will be the MC of the big event. So you yeah, got to con get connected to Ethan Conrad. I can help you do that as well. And if you want more Mark Haney, I know not all of you want more Mark yeah, Haney, some, but some we are are hosting an event here at the Allegiant Giving Center, 4465 Granite Drive, the Haney Biz Headquarters, on September 28th from 5 to 7.30. We're going to be talking about the three keys to maximizing your entrepreneurial potential. Mark is going to be out here on the ones and twos, giving you guys a little message, so do not want to miss that again. That's September 28th from 5 to 7.30 here on Granite Drive gonna in Rockland. Going to be fun. Going to be fun. And next week, uh, you don't want to miss this either. Next week, we're going to be talking more more marketing, more finance, and more about the great products that are getting built right here in Sacramento. Jack Crawford of Impact Venture Capital will join us, along with John Koss of Pondera Solutions. Join the revolution at HaneyBiz.com. When we come back, I will have some closing thoughts you're not going to want to miss. This is the Haney Biz Project.